Michigan is nearing 100,000 overall cases of COVID-19. The state reported 868 new cases today, along with four deaths. There are now more than 97,000 confirmed cases in our state. Isabella County has declared a health emergency as there are now 82 cases of COVID-19 related to CMU students returning to the Mount Pleasant area. And Governor Gretchen Whitmer will hold a news conference tomorrow to update the state's response to COVID-19 that's scheduled for 1.30 p.m. And as our kids head back to school, many parents are wondering how they can tell the difference between a cold, the flu, allergies, or if their child might actually have the coronavirus. I talked with Spectrum House Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Russell Lampin, about the symptoms parents should be looking for. Uh, the big symptoms that I, I think are most specific for, for COVID are the body aches, the sense of fever, so maybe the Maybe the temperature is not greater than 100, um, but that the child or the student feels hot or flushed. Um, and actually that sense of fever or feeling feverish is almost more accurate than having an elevated temperature. A cough that gets worse over time and shortness of breath along with vomiting and diarrhea are also symptoms, but loss of smell is also a really big sign. If you're noticing that your child can't smell your coffee in the morning or is complaining that they can't taste their favorite food, then you should check for other signs they may have COVID-19 and get them tested.